hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop updates on this is fate stay tuned on today's episode surya says he can fight his battles independently and doesn't want any interference he tells Nidhi that rajvi tried to kill him and rishab wants him to not do anything rishab tells he wants surya to rectify his mistakes he asks Shuria to not lose his sense. He tells her the family would get worried if Shuria fights with Rajvi. That everyone loves Shuria. They are taking actions and they have already called the cops. Shuria tells Rajvi has done it. Raj Rishab asks him what he did. He tells her Shuria kidnapped Sparky and created drama at her house. Shuria asks him not to blame him. Rishab asks Nidhi to look at Shuria. She tells everyone is after Shuria. He tells that she should have raised Shuria well. He asks her not to support Shuria when he has done wrong. Sandy goes to Nidhi. She yells at him. He apologizes and goes to meet Shuria. Shuria is disappointed that his family is supporting Rajvi. Sandy asks if he's okay. He asks Shuria. Shuria tells that he doesn't want to talk to anyone. Sandy tells that he was afraid for Shuria's life. Shuria asks him to stop being melodramatic. Rajvi overhears them and thinks to bash Shuria. Sandy says he has proof of Shuria's crime of Rajvi's crime and knows the motive that Parky has supported Rajvi in the crime and she is outside the house. Shreya goes to see Parky. Rajvi grows worried for Parky. He asks Shreya and Sandy to stop, finds the door locked, jumps out of the window to reach Parky. Nidhi sees the fire and rushes to call fire brigade. She is shell shocked to see Prita there. She recalls the past. She doesn't save Prita and goes away. Karan asks Prita to find water to drench the towel. Prita guides him to the kitchen. Nidhi is in disbelief. She falls insecure and vents her anger. She tries to control her anger. She tells her Prita has come back. She doesn't want Prita to snatch Shuri and Karan from her. She ends up hurting herself. She doesn't want Karan to meet Prita. She thinks what to do to stop Prita from meeting anyone in the Lutra house. Prita tells Karan that the fire had spread from the kitchen area. He asks her not to worry. He covers her with a drenched towel. She tells that he is a very nice person. He asks her if she said this to him. She tells that he risked his life to save her. He ensures that the fire doesn't catch her. He asks her to stand still until he dredges the other towel. He finds her falling breathless. He asks her to breathe through her sari clothes. She gets reminded of the past moment. She falls dizzy. Shreya asks Sandy where Paki is. Sandy swears he had seen Paki at the gate. Shreya looks for Paki. He asks Sandy to find her. Paki rushes out of the house. Shreya and Sandy get to see her. She tells she doesn't want to talk to him. He asks what she's doing near his house. She tells she is standing outside his house on the public road and he can't question her. She threatens of calling the cops. Shreya tells he will deal with Paki later. Karan asks Prita to open her eyes. He keeps talking to her and reminds her the past moment. Prita recalls the moment in the memory flash. He tells her he used to fight a lot with her, but he loved her a lot. She meant the word to him and that's the truth. He adds that he was also lost when she wasn't with him. He confesses his love to her. He tells her he never left hope and he has come back to him alive. He expresses his emotions of joy. He requests her to open her eyes. Nidhi wonders why Prita came back and how she's alive. She wishes Prita dies in the fire. Raki asks if anything is burning. Nidhi determines to stop Raki from seeing Prita and burns an invitation card to fool Pri Raki. Raki and Karina tell her that something is burning. Nidhi shows the fire in the bin. They tell the smoke is dense and the fire smell is also strong. Nidhi stops them from checking the servant's quarter. They don't get convinced by her. Nidhi gets afraid, hurts herself and fakes a fall to stop them from going ahead. She cries and seeks their help in pain. They help Nidhi and take her to her room. Karan sees the fire spread and he shouts for help. He protects Prita. Rajvi looks for Parky and gets confused, doesn't find a way to exit. He sees critical and doesn't want her to catch him.